What is the Japanese way? If it hurts, try hard until it doesn't hurt. This is Mei Nagasako, an international reset from Japan who has set for competitions up to the IFSC level. Most people know her for her relentless perseverance towards tackling hard dynamic climbs on Instagram, who climbed together at her home gym in Tokyo. Talk about the mindset and process of tackling challenges, but mainly the unique position of being one of the few female root setters in Japan. How strong the root setting team is. Two Japan national champions, few World Cup parents climbers, board a record holder. Most of them have climbed like V12 to V14. I'm the only one with one digit. How does that feel, actually? Like, <laughs> You can't see us. You should do the wavy thing. Oh, she's seen oh, us. Oh, she actually did see us. Hi. I started climbing when I was 10. Cool. <laughs> That's why I was I pretty so young. Nah. I hate, I hate that now my crew, so. Really? Oh my God, so well, I do oh, not I hate dynamic moves. I do not hate dynamic moves, but I'm not good at them. Oh, that's interesting. Because I all found that thing of you as a dynamic climber. The reason why you see more of dynamic moves on my Instagram or any of like social media content is because I'm not good at them. I put more effort into it. So I am a little bit more proud of like finishing that line. That's why people's images are kind of like, they must love dynamic yeah. moves and it's just complete opposite. I do prefer slower, crimpy moves. Nice. Wow. Nice, nice. Oh, that you should try the green one. I'll try the green one. When did you start studying? I dropped out of university in Japan and then stayed in Canada for like four years. So that's when I started studying. And then when I came back, Yuji and other person like Hesara Obi knew me from back then but they were like you when I work at base game and then got into the base game team afterwards Hi. Come on, come on. Nice Come on Squeeze it, squeeze it, come on Come on Come on, come on Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze ah! <laughs> No! <laughs> That's such a bad finish! <laughs> oh. so I see you try the same boulder a lot of times. Like, how do you decide where, where that is doable? Or like, it's too hard for now? I don't think I think a lot about anything. I know that this is kind of like a style that I haven't really done. Yeah. As, like, I have tried to set before. Yeah but I have not actually stuck it. So I guess I like I want to learn this yeah. and I want my body to remember it yeah. for more options to set. Ever since I became a setter, I just kind of wanted to be able to do at least like okay level of climbing in any category. A lot of stuff you do is more than okay for sure. <laughs> uh, I try, I try. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to tell them as well? I was looking at that orange dynamic one, but I don't want to do it in front of video. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. 
Oh, nice! nice. Nice! Hold it! Nice. Nice. It matches your hair! No, it matches your hair! Good job! <laughs> what makes dynamic climbing challenging? Do you think it's like scary or. Like yeah, oh, it's <laughs> Okay, did you just saw. Uh, hey, Hong Kong guys! <laughs> Lady 2! Actually, what do you think about like all the new school climbs? Because like your climbing background is like quite different from different, yeah. From what you have in the gym to it. I did enjoy it. I couldn't set this kind of boulder. Do you want to do something? <laughs> I think if I can learn more yeah. about how to jump like you guys do, oh, I think yeah. I, I will be more feel safer. I think that was like, <laughs> very cool. Not like uh, very, you know, like not like a Tomoa. I think you can. <laughs> I think everyone wants to be the one. Good to see you. Yeah. Stick around. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Like I've been telling everyone I meet in different countries about like how strong our setting team is. Because we have two Japan national champions and one second place. A few World Cup experienced climbers and one previous world record holder, which is Yuji. And when all gather up as like a team, and like most of them have climbed like V12 to V14, no matter what gender they are. Yeah. And I'm the only one with one digit. How's that feel actually? Like, like, yeah. <laughs> you're still setting really good bubbles. Is there like a certain kind of expectation there when you're setting them? I guess I do usually try to set only like up to yellow tape in the shim, which is like maybe V7 at most. Japanese people actually don't really believe in like setters being able to set harder borders than their maximum limit. <laughs> which in a sense is true, but at the same time I think that could also be limiting like the ability of setters. I think that's something that Japanese setting team need to work on. They need to accept that someone weaker than you can set something that you can climb like it's okay to feel that way but I think it's just like ego and pride and like all that thing mixed up I suppose change comes slowly takes time and then we also need to have someone like me who's not that strong but who's willing to set hard stuff <laughs> have you tried this mint? I don't think I can do it <laughs> but I am down to try nice Come on. Nice, nice. Ale, ale, ale. Oh, pinches. Or even just reach it, right? How do you deal with the challenges of being a shorter climber? At one point, I don't remember when, I found it like super stupid. Yeah. I am already limited with things I can do with the size. And if I limit myself more with having such negative thought about, you know, my body being different from others, yeah. Yeah, I just need to try harder. That's great. Such a good <laughs> oh, that's amazing. But it doesn't always work that way. <laughs> no. I mean, there, that, there has to be instances where it doesn't work, right? But yeah. I think in most cases, like, there, there's some way around it. Nice, nice. Solid, solid, solid. <laughs> what an effort! Good job. Why do you think you like setting so much, actually? See that? That's an interesting I'm, question. I always feel like yo, you always have a smile on your face when you're setting. I do like, have a smile so on my fun. face. Yeah, I do have a lot of fun when I'm setting. What I can provide to customers to have different experience and then like kind of remind them that like climbing is so different in different ways, but it's just so fun no matter what. Yeah. I think that's what drives me to want to set more. Okay, my turn. Yeah, that's. Woo. Oh.
Yeah, what do you think is like the best way to improve on these big dynamic moves that you guys really learn to do? I guess the level one will be start with a closer jump, yeah. and then get the feel of like how it feels to stick a dyno, yeah. and then original start, yeah. and then choose a different feet that are bigger and closer, yeah. and go into the original start into the dyno. I think that's my process. Are you gonna try the mint again? Ooh, that was close. Any big goals? No. <laughs> I want to set a national. I want to set uh, I have to see it. I need to train harder. Come on, mate. No! So, like, my boss used to kind of go like, this finger is the weakest finger. Then he started doing the mono pull up with these. And he pulled the tendons. And I was like, what did you do? He's like, I kept on going because I thought it was just because it was weaker. So, if it hurts. Try hard until it doesn't hurt. That's the Japanese way of doing it. I think that is the Japanese way <laughs> from what I've seen so far. So that's what you gotta do in Japan. I just gotta try hard, <laughs> half a pulley. It's the way to go. There's no pain. <laughs> nice, come on. Nice, come on. So much. Come on, mate. And then go. Yeah, yes. Come on. Yeah, mate, come on. You got it. Nice, oh, big yeah. jump, come on. That's it, come on, big jump. You got it. Yes, mate, come on. Yeah, mate, come on. You got it. Good, come on. Come on, mate. Yeah, mate. Oh, nice, sir. Good job. Thank you. All right, with that, we have a wrap. I'm standing at like the end. It's like the perfect feeling. So I'll thank you again, mate. Thank you, Tim. I think it's really cool to like get an insight into Japanese planning. What's like being a resetter and like sometimes having the shortest band and like some problems you gotta deal with. It's a really good learning opportunity. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much as well. Uh, just wanna thank Basecamp as well for letting us film here. Thank you for watching. Bye! Bye.